we wouldn't know Dr. King in his iconic fashion had it not been for the tireless efforts of my mother. But to be able to advocate for folks that are voiceless has just been my, my mission. Give yourself a chance to grow up and give yourself opportunity. I always say to people that my mother uh, perhaps was uh, well ahead of my father um, because she was the one um, who was a stabilizing force to him so often when he felt um, weak and, and discouraged. So she was like um, uh, his top advisor. Uh, she participated in some of the strategy sessions. She was a peace advocate. She was involved in the peace movement and was the one uh, who encouraged him to speak out on the war in Vietnam. There were many other voices, but she was the one stabilizing voice consistently saying, we need your voice in the peace movement. Finally, when he was assassinated, I tell people he's one of the most hated persons in, in our nation, but now he's one of the most loved. Yes, maybe because he's not with us, but also because Mrs. Coretta Scott King uh, single-handedly, with the support of other people and family in particular, um, helped to fashion and, and form his legacy. It fought very hard to institutionalize it by creating this King Center um, and also fighting for um, the King holiday so that every year we would have to contend with who he was and the teachings that he uh, uh, exemplified and left with us as a nation. So if you want to say anything about her, we wouldn't know Dr. King in his iconic fashion had it not been for the tireless efforts of my mother. Yes, I'm an attorney. Um... Yes, I've done television, but to be able to advocate for folks that are voiceless has just been my, my mission. And I'm so grateful that the Preservation of America's Heritage Abroad, the commission, is really um, committed to identifying cemeteries and monuments and historic buildings within Eastern and Central Europe. We have about 29 countries that are really associated with the heritage of United States citizens, particularly the endangered properties. So I think about um, uh, the during World War II, the Holocaust and Nazis and communism and the devastating impact it had on a number of communities all around the world, especially our Jewish brothers and sisters. And so with memory, dignity, and justice as the new chair of the commission, I am 100% committed to never forgetting and actually putting remembrances in place to all of those souls that have been lost. And I'm talking the Jews, the Romas, the Sinti, the Slavs, the disabled people, the LGBT folk that y'all don't always hear about, yes. and others that were killed um, by the Nazis and their collaborators during the Holocaust. This is important work, and I plan to bring all of my whole self and my whole posse. You know, what I say to young girls all the time is to give yourself a chance to grow up and give yourself opportunity. You know, I had a teenage mother. I didn't grow up with much, but what I knew is I wanted more out of life. And so what I would say to all of them is don't make decisions today that limit your opportunities tomorrow. Ooh, you have the word. rest of your life to be somebody's boo. Yes. Don't Ooh. focus on that. Yes. Focus on developing you yes. and making yourself the best person you can be because mm -hmm. I can tell you the better you get the better the men get that I, that I promise you